Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and let's go to you all. Welcome to the ACL 2K series, of course, here on MLG. Today, we've got a lot of teams of the 14 stack competing for that 2,000 pro points on the line. Obviously, the big name teams are in here, some small name teams as well. They all want some more pro points. Kicking things off this morning, though, it will be Amari Oz up against Prime AU. Joining by my side, of course, will be Dr. Curry. And Curry, you know, it's only a single elimination competition, as always, in these series. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with some of these lesser known teams. Oh, absolutely correct there, Bayern. We, of course, did just have ACL Brisbane last weekend where we saw easily the best teams in Australia all compete at the first yep. open age event, Call of Duty Ghost Land, we'll say. And it's definitely going to be interesting. You know, there's been a few roster changes, seen a few people, you know, move around from team to team. And you did say it's a single limb. Uh, it's just. It's just going to be interesting. You just got to see how it, you know, rolls on out. And straight away, we already got two great teams to kick it off. Yeah, we do apologize for the delay this morning. We did tweet, put some tweets out there. You know, you head over to ACL Pro on Twitter, and you can just find out what happened with the, the bracket issue there. Some seating did take place. Not all of it, though. Next 2K series, all the seating will go off correctly numbered pro points. It's because there was Xbox 360 and Xbox One. It's okay, though. In the background, things are just getting underway. So, you know, play your matches out now. Continue on through the day. Hope you, everyone has a great day, though. And here we are. Domination on Freight. Kick things off here in this best ever three series, of course. Once you get to that two mark, you're done and dusted. The other team's going home. You're going on. And, you know, Domination Freight. It's a nice format. A lot of close battles to come. And we did get a tweet coming out from one of the players from the Amari squad. Of course, uh, Girl Jones, who wants to be known as Princess Gigi for the day. So, if we're saying Princess Gigi, it's Girl Jones. There you go, love. And we'll uh, see the rest of them. But, Will, do you want to take yep. us to the lineups for both these teams? All right, we'll go for the lines from Amari. Of course, you will go. So we got Princess Gigi, uh, Rob, Nova, and Quisky. That makes up Amari. And then on Prime, quite simple, you got Riser, Trauma, Zuka, and Phenom. So that's the lineup there. Amari were actually at Brisbane. They had a bit of a change up. I think Rob's the only original member that's playing today. So he's just going with a little bit of pickup with some mates and that. But. They, they're going to have a tush, tough job up against Prime because Prime, they've been doing a couple of online comps for the past few weeks or so. And they, they, you know, they may not have been placing as well, but they're definitely improving and climbing mm. up the rank in the Elsco community. So it's definitely going to be interesting in today's 2K to see how well they do and whether or not they can make it past the first round. Also, throughout today, if you'd like your most streamed at all, feel free to tweet at Mike's the 94 on Twitter or at Beware AU now. Or ACL Beware, sorry. Let them know you might want your actual uh, match stream. You're going to have one coming out. We might be able to get into it. may not. But here we are kicking things off with Rob, captain of the Amari squad. And straight away, they look at that seaside of the spawn, obviously. Now, they're going to be a fight heading up towards that B area. Oracle May will be engaged because of his domination. So you better see all these players are. Thanks for that. We see one underground, one across the road, sort of white pushing up and around there. But right now, it's a bit of a standstill. Rob has not moved since the start of the game, more or less. There he goes, <laughs> finally. That has seen our nice little two-piece there to kick it off for that squad of Prime. Brody, oh look at him, 3-0 already off the bat and he's in the face of the Omari team that's spawning a back C right now. Control of B will go towards Prime as they do have middle map under their belts by This is a great start to them as Omari, a lot of pressure on their shoulders and we're not even a minute into it. Yeah, see so that score line, of course, 11 to 8. Oh, the knife in the back wow. four. Oh. There's the shot to come out and connect afterwards. That could have been very embarrassing. A career in on himself, so to speak. As you can see him here, inside of bottom Volans now, looking around to push this sea flag inside of Lumberyard. Now, if he does this and neutralizes it, at least it's going to push, obviously, Amari to come back. And you'll see it now. Amari up on that B flag. No one's actually coming back for C at all. They're going to push on through now. Amari have one player on A. It's going to be Nova all the way down there. And he's fighting the line. Lonesome. Like, as Twisty's going to pull out one little kill there. He's going to try now. Can't do it. He does neutralize the flag, though. As Nova's now going to push back as well here. If he can just get this player off it again, there's the shot. The play's been capped. It might be a little bit okay here, Curry. If they can get these two player advantage back in their hands, they can pretty much get a score line back there. It's only a 10 point difference. Well, Princess uh, Gigi is located top red. Got some great eyes over B, and he's stopping all the players oh. from Prime to getting any contest. And there is one player done. Clean headshot, but one of them will be hunting down through the bottom of red. She unfortunately doesn't realize where the player is, but she might be able to pick up one across the map, but she does get the assist in the end. So, Girl Jobs going big for a team when it's needed. That allowed for them to capture B and Omari after a shaky start right back into this one. Yeah, that's cool. On 31 to 26, five points of difference. Three minutes left here in the first half. Rob, now we're here with him. He gets picked up over on the seaside of me, so. And again, dropped back there. They do hold the A and B side, though. That's what really neat. Back with Princess GG. Actually sitting at bottom, Ran. Just watching out towards the front part of mid. Waiting for them to push on out one side and fire, though. And there it is. Then, Venom. Going to take a nice little clean shot. 
with his MTR. He's putting in a lot of firefight down towards that B area. A few challenges around that side of things. We come into the second quarter now. The tie game. Omari, you're about to take the lead. Only one point separating the two teams right now. Of course, as you said, Omari was the lead. I've been looking through their players. Rub, yet to really heat up. You did see Girl James trying to sit back and pick up some long-range kills. Just does get one. Of course, that was Phenom he dropped. But Zerker on the team of Prime. Let's watch him. He's starting to heat up. He's on his fifth kill now. It's currently six for three with a few captures to his name. Wallbang, he picks up Girl James there. Beautiful shots on his behalf. And they should allow his team to gain some middle map control. And they could potentially pounce on that open B flag right now, Bio. Could be a big play for the prime guys. That could have been, but they all just ran around the whole B area. No one actually jumped on the fly. It was a massive mistake. They had three players down for a moment, and the last player was coming off respawn. So really, they had that perfect position to try and grab the B play. None of them did. They finally put some person on there, but then they got a three down straight after that when Amari pushed back out through the mid. So right now, Amari scores that two flag advantage here. As you're going to see now, I'm going to jump in with. Well, it's going to go with Quisky, but he got picked up eight and eight. He's back with him now. Yeah, he's going. Not that back inside of things. One player there in front of Y. Oh, cool. Tag Central. They cannot finish off that kill. One player outside of Brewery here, though. He knows there's going to be no one coming. Come oh, oh, wow. Nice little 90 degree turn there with that hit fire. Ron Quisky to pick up that kill. It's outside of White now. 115 on the clock. 68 52. As Amari are pushing more and more away here. And they're also picking up the C fly, looking for that triple cap in the Dom. Triple cap? That could be big. And so it looks like they will at least be able to neutralize it there. So no points going in favor of Prime for a few seconds to finish it off. Nova, he just got a n nasty little two-piece for his own in the middle of the map there. Pushing on through, being very aggressive. Got to respect it. But unfortunately, Torma will be able to get him up in the end. Rob just playing some defense around his base. Doesn't want to give up a flag for the final few seconds. You see Quisky though by pushed up quite nicely. He gets dropped. Now back over to Nova. He's... Managed to relocate himself back into the middle of the map, but Prime in the final 30 seconds. Looks like they're going to go out kicking. They might be able to capture this B flag by him. He's going to change over to Trauma quickly. The Trauma's on the opposite side of Prime. It's the bottom scoring right now, but he is trying to pick up some more. He's got a four point streak to his name. He's this side of Brewery. He's picked up very quickly, though. As I'm hearing now, Razor. So what he's going to be doing is chilling back out sort of front red. A few players looking in around the B area to try and pick up. They will once again defend B for the moment from the Prime side of things. So they try and close this gap down a little bit here, and they've done all right. They had a bit of a lead at the start of that. Obviously, Amari has picked their game up towards, you know, the three-minute mark or so, and then it ran away towards the end there as well. So a nice little lead coming into the half, 93 to 69. That scoreline, <laughs> 69. As we now will be heading into the second half, five minutes still to come as always. But, you know, I'm still just thinking... Amari might be able to run this one away. You know, they had that two flag advantage for so long, and also the fact that they got a third flag, not only the cap, but very close to being triple captain and also neutralizing it all the time. So Amari's just map positioning, map control just seemed to be a bit higher at the moment than Prime's. Exactly right there. And watch them off the break, see what they go for. Watching over Princess GG right now, decide to go to top white. This could be a good play out of her half. But Prime straight on to B. Can she defend it? One player in front of it, choking some shots. Does finalize the kill, but there will be one on the opposite side of the tracks. It will actually not be a capture, though, for Prime. Not too sure what happened there, as it was their flag to lose. Now, Omari pushing out. They're going to try and jump on this B. It looks like that was Rob. He kind of ran into the open there. Zerka was able to clean him up. And B off the break. Getting contested by both teams here, Bio. But no one able to secure it just yet. No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Few players up and around. They'd be all seeing a prime with the over the B side of things. They did pick it up. Four players down, though, here for the moment. As Amari will try and challenge for it. You're going to have Rob pushing all the way through, but Razor says none of that's not around here. Two little knife to the chest will take him down. Quisky picked up that B flag on the help of Girl Jones or Princess Gigi. In that case, as they hit that 100 point mark, 106 to 84 right now. So just over the 20 point lead, it would seem, for the players from Amari. Of course, Prime still nipping away at the heels, though. So here with Nova from that squad. He's looking to push for the C. He decides against it. There's one player out in the mid part of the map from the Prime team. It's going to be Zerk now. I've just got him highlighted thanks to my screen anyway. Just to see where he's located. He's over that white side. His teammates are coming off that respawn as well. Over near Owens. But just here. He's running up towards red now. Ooh. Just seeing a look around the map here. Prime, you know, they've got players scattered around the map, but no one's really set up to do anything about it. They would just want to try and, I guess... Play a bit of map control here, Curry. And if they can do yep. that, then they'll be able to pick up like a second flag. But for the time being, they're just taking way too long to make any action happen. 
Amari are playing extremely slow, and Prime don't know what to really do after a first half where they came out absolutely blitzing them. They've slowed it down quite nicely in Prime. They don't know how to answer back. You do see Zerk trying to do defense. He's doing quite a good job. Now third kill in the road here. Can he pick up the fourth? He does. Now that's a big two down for the team of Amari Prime. They need to capitalize right here, right now, by and at least neutralize that B flag. Looks like that's what they're going to go for. Zerka picks up another one. Girl Gems does answer back, but will they at least get the capture? It should be neutralized, and there's a capture to their behalf. Prime, they do make the best of a worse situation. Now can they close that 34-point gap fire? potentially walk away with a little bit of comeback here. Yeah, we're down to that final quarter and 34 point gap, massive gap at the moment, of course, for the, for the Prime Gods to retry and push back up on. Amari just really having their way. And like you said, they're, they're playing a bit of a slow game. They're just, you know, rotating around the map and having a bit of fun. It would seem that way. While Prime keeps trying to push out, Prime aren't really making any plays to play themselves. They're just more or less pushing out to an area and then just trying to get a few kills before they actually go in for the capture. Now, while that might work for a few teams, it doesn't seem to work in that well for them as they are down by 31 points. Two minutes left here on the map and it would right now seem that Amari is just going to lock down that two flight control once again. They're just going to set up in the middle map of control and they just had their way with Prime as Prime come off the respawns. You know, Prime, they they answer back very well in capturing that B flag but they, they're not able to hold it. That's what's separating these two teams right now. Amari very, just very strong at answering back and when you look at the cap ratios on each of the teams you notice that Quisky and Girl Gems are the only two players to get captures to their name so far in this second half meanwhile everyone on Prime has been able to get one to their name and it's, it's interesting to note just the fact that Prime they're doing a full team effort but just you know a few individual players from Amari are really starting to make some plays Rob gets another capture to his name that's his first one of the game they're overextending towards C Amari just keeping Prime on their toes right now and it's working out quite well and at this stage, they should be able to walk away with map number one. You know, I sort of feel bad for Zerka here from the Prime squad. 24 and 12, 25 and 12. He's cleaning up players left, right and center. He's got five caps to his name as well. He's currently really backpacking the rest of the guys. Now, the rest of them do have kills, obviously, in caps as well as their name. But no one's going positive or anywhere near what he's putting up on those numbers side of things. And he's picking up kills, but it's all about, like, the map positioning. It would seem, as you just see now, Trauma's going to pick up a nice little three-piece, actually, over in this left-hand side of the map, just outside of green. And while his teammates are going to try and push up and grab, they have a bit of map control themselves, and they do have the two-flag advantage here. If they hold down for another 40 seconds, I don't think it's going to be enough. We look at the mass side of things, you know. Nah. It's a 20, 23 point game. It's pretty much done and dusted in that regard. Even if they do hold this two-flag down, oh, they'll get the third one. It'll be very much close, but it's pretty much still going to be all over. So while Amari will pick up the win, you know, Prime's still very much fighting alive here at the final moments. So coming to the SD, I think Prime should still feel very much alive and very much confident. You know, it's going to be a sovereign map. So. I think Prime can answer back and then take it to the game number three, but it'll all be about, you know, the first few rounds there in that SD on Sovereign. Search and Strike Sovereign is the map up next, as the man Bioacid just told us. So it's gonna be interesting. We've got great rotation for round one. Cannot complain with it at all. As Amari, they were able to walk away with map number one, only going to be oh quick maps in my head. That's a 17 point victory there for the team of Omari. I hope I'm right on that one. Good little two piece there by Rob to finish on on off. But he made some big plays out of Rob. He may have dropped the negative, 18 for 22, but he went big in situations which he needed to do, especially when it, you know, involved playing some defense is what he did time and time again, especially around that A flag at the start of the second half. So you got to give a special mention to Rob for that. But it's interesting to note, only one player went positive for Amari, and that was Princess GG, only by one kill. Yet they're still able to make a convincing win. So coming to the next game, of course, the Mario AU will be up 1-0 in the series. It's the best out of three. First of two will be the victor, of course, and could a single limb. The loser goes home. The winner continues on through. When we come back, game number two, s &D on Sovereign. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, game number two in this best of three series for the first matchup, of course, for the 2K series. Brought to you, of course, by ACL and MLG. Right now, Dr. Carey joining mm -hmm. me here in the commentator's booth. We saw game number one, Domination Freight, going in favor of Amari. Now, coming to game number two, now, Prime might be able to bring it back. They, they sort of seemed like an okay squad and the way they were playing towards the end of that domination. Obviously, yep. S&D, Sovereign, different game type, different map, different play styles will come out. Do you think Omari will 2 it here and wrap it up, or do you think Prime can get an S&D and take it to game number three? Well, you know, Prime, they had the... They were a better team in, in terms of the kill-to-death ratios and the slaying factor which they brought into that domination. Omari, on the other hand, they just knew when they needed to go big on the objectives and actually capture the flags. So there was that you know, type of difference between the two teams. And in Search and Destroy, where you only get the one one life per round, it, it makes me wonder whether or not, you know, the objective side are going to help Omari more so, or if, you know, the slaying factor is going to help Prime more so. So it's it's kind of 50-50, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're saying, you know. It'll come down to maybe some clutch plays as well. Coming to this one, of course, we were just waiting there for Princess Gigi to finish up her makeup and get her royalties out of the road so she can join us in the lobby. Took a little while there. But here we are. It's going to be, of course, Prime on the attack for the first round as well. And we'll do on board the Bomb Carrier to kick things off just to see how they're going to play this first part out. So the Bomb Carrier will be Thinum or Thinum. And I'm just going to bring up the map overall screen for myself. This is Breakout. So it's a standard attack Breakout from the sand side of things for the Prime Squad. You know, they've got two guns straight from mid. One guy on the left hand side, one pushing that right. Sort that flank coming across from servers in green. And the first kill of the round, Ryzer getting dropped there by Rob. We pushed him with that vector for a moment. Here's the shotgun though. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, last one. Pops back out. Oh, the fadeaway shots are real from the Amari squad. Just then, you do see Fina. He was able to stay alive. Does have the shotgun. Him and Zerka last to alive and sprays down a player. That, of course, was Rob. Very ambitious here to go straight for the plant. Will it work out, though? Zerka is moving to the top side. He's in war room right now. He's giving these teammates some great support. Now, unfortunately, Phenom did just drop. One on three situation. Zerka's got to go big. Checks the bomb. There's one player. The two others right in front of him. We can tell by Oracle mode, of course. Now it's all up to actual girl germs. That was a team kill in the background for Omari. Can Zerka get the 1v3? Got to kill girl germs. Player to the right there, but GG in the end does get the kill and the defuse. Going up clutch when it's needed. Yeah, it was a nice play, but like you said, no, we get peak team kill there before by Quiskies as well. After that bomb had already gone down, so wouldn't have been feeling too happy about that, but what can you do about it? these guys obviously coming into this next round? Are we thinking, okay, let's just try and change it up a little bit here. We've got the first round of our defense. Let's try and get an attack round. That's what you usually see as well. If your team can get like a nice consecutive rounds going, then they'll usually be able to take it out. We do see one team usually like favor off one side more often than not. Just want to follow that bomb carrier though once again, Rob. With a bomb carry from the Amari's team. And now it looks like an A push here. Now, I do like to see an A push more often than not because, you know, people overuse B so much. And mm -hmm. A's is a nice little mix up. Of course, looking at that Oracle side of things, we just see players spread out mainly to the left hand side of the map. You know, he's coming across as Rob just chills back at the sniper. Let's go for the rest of the players, though. They've got a nice setup here. If they can get, if they can get out and get the bomb down, there's the shot and the kill from Rob. They'll be able to get the bomb down now, and they should be able to get set up with a nice little defense. Beautiful job there by Rob. Does he spot the play? Yes, he does. Over in Caution. They haven't seen him. He's going to get that vector kill off. That was Phenom. Great job by Rob. Already two kills to his name. Should be able to get the plant down. And the final two remaining players, Zerka, once again still up. And Ryther this time. They're going to have to go clutch 2v4. So both of them need to go big when it's needed. And they're nowhere near that A bomb site you do see now. Zerka, he's looking towards his own spawn. He will be able to find a play right in front of him. That will be Girl Gems. Does drop. And it will be all up to Nova and Quisky. So they could actually get this clutch here, Bio. But there is a player from the team of Mari who's on the flank. That was Nova. Did just pick up a player all up to rise. And now 1v2, 20 seconds left. Oh, there goes the double concast. He does find one player inside of server. Rising now here at the A-ball. One player in there in green. There's a shot. Quisky from server side of things will take out the kill. And pick up the round. 2-0 now in regards to the scoreline. Of course, these guys need four more. And they'll be wrapping up the series 2-0 and pushing on through. I don't know if they have a next match actually scheduled yet. So we'll have a look at that little uh, bracket side of things to see if they already had a match good to go and knew who they were playing against. Next, doesn't seem to be the case. So we do. Uh, Todor is who they'll be versing, or Fordor is who they'll be versing next up in regards to that round two match. But again, they don't want that bomb, and these guys are going to try A because B, while they did get the bomb down last time, they couldn't defend it. They couldn't defend it, exactly right there. And they did get a little unlucky with some... Uh well, they did get lucky, shall I say. It was a team kill. They still weren't able to clutch it out mm. there. But Phenom, Torma, both of them get kills.
to break it off. Now Gil, Germs and Quisky last to a life. Look at where Princess GG is here, Bio. Not a good position at all. Plays all around, and just like that, that's a very convincing and quick round for Prime. They got the two early picks, bombs straight away onto A, as you can tell by Phenom in your final kill cam. And then both of the two remaining players drop instantly there, and a little one bullet there by Phenom. So good answer back there by Prime. Showing that they can hang here in the search and destroy Sovereign. We'll see that scoreline. Two to one now. Of course, three rounds gone. Fourth round coming into play. I'm here with Princess Gigi. I'm just going to highlight for myself. Hopefully, beware in the background. Do the same thing. The bomb carrier. And we can see where he's going. But Princess Gigi, different play time this time around. Left-hand side push. Coming out towards Snake now. She sees there's some cuts going off there. She, and thanks to Oracle Mode, I can see where two players are. It's going to turn that off, though. Yeah, it's too much of a... Too much of a giveaway, I guess. And you'll see a few players get picked up in the background. And just like that, she's wow. blind stuff in a 1v4. All her teammates on the right-hand side of the map have been picked up. The bomb has been dropped just outside of server room. She's going to head upside into the map. Ooh, and there it's there. I was holding my breath line. there. That's that up. Pick up a kill. Big plays indeed for those the round the team of Prime there, Curry, and now they're tying things up to a piece. I didn't know if Circus saw her or not. In the end, he must have just glimpsed a foot coming around the corner there. So that's cod time is at its uh, finest there, unfortunately. But Prime... Level up the scores just like that. Did take them long at all. Now they're going to be in the offensive round. We saw them previously do very well on their offensive rounds. Now I would like to actually stay on board with Phenom. Because he did get that bomb down very quick over a day last time. And got a few kills. He's currently on a five point streak. And this is going to be another hard and fast push towards A. By the Prime Squad. Bio. Is it going to work out though? But it looks like they should be uncontested getting this bomb down. Still a 4v4 situation. Yeah, Girl Jones is back there in research. You saw the shot coming out there on trying to take him out. The Res is going to pick up one on her afterwards. Now it's a 3v3. Of course, that bomb being put down. One player back there in the C flag area behind her research. And the shots came out. Quisky picks up one. One player in mid. There's a challenge and there's the kill. The Rise takes down one. Backs away with the fade away. He's in a 1v2 now instead of the 1v3 it started out as, as Nova did pick up his Go check teammate. Up. In the process, yeah, you see him there. Nice little work to pick up the headshot. Nice, you know, map knowledge and awareness. He's like figuring it. out where players are. Yeah, you'll just see now, thanks to turn on mode for a moment. There's one oh. little part. And Nova picking he up the kill it. there on Razor. The bomb will get diffused. And the round will become now 3-2. to two. Wow. Of course, that will be the Amari squad in the lead once again. But only by one round. They did have a two-round lead prior. Beautiful clutch there by Nova. He pre-fired around the corner onto that B-Bot domination. Of course, he did actually see the play rotating into it. And then he just gave it his all, went for the pre-fire, worked out quite well. And with a few milliseconds to spare, was able to get the defuse. Omari backing with the lead, as you said, Bio. Now they're going to be on the aggressive round. B hasn't worked out too well for them. But I like what they're going for here. Still on board with Snow for Bio as he's gone for the underground rush, straight onto B domination. This could be a big play out of his books. Ooh, I did see one. I haven't got Oracle Mode on, but I did see one right at the back there near Research. just hanging back up high. As that conveyor belt tank comes across. Now, I don't think he would have seen it, though. As no, just chilling in that middle part. Of course, we have Rob Bomb Carrier. He's up there now as well. He'll get the scope out. He might be out. No, he won't. He wants to play all the way down the end there. He did move back a little tiny touch. Now, Quisky from the other side of things. Pushing down his left-hand side. He might catch one just behind the crates in a moment. There's a pop-out. Oh, he goes for the jump, but he hits the climb instead. That bad placement on the map. It does hurt you sometimes. Princess GG just watching around from this B side of things, but Rob and Nova both still around that middle part. Here comes one at research. Oh, can't get the two piece though. As Gildo will clean it one in the background. It's now 2v2. Gildo's and Rob up against Riser and Tremor. Oh, looks like Rob wants to get the bomb down, but Riser shows some great patience around that top area of the map. Gildo's last one alive. Was a 1v2? It's a one on one now. Her versus Riser. She does have the AR. She did a glimpse the player. They're pre firing around the corner. 17 seconds, giving away her location. Has to go for the defuse and runs away. Oh, should I stay the reload? Now, it looks like she will be maybe trying to get the bomb down, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work out too well. Both of the players just tangoing around each other. Riser has bailed from the situation. He's going to hide in a corner, and unfortunately... Oh, he's going to go for the chunch! Oh! That's unlucky. Both of them meeting up in the final few seconds there. GG, if she was a little bit quicker towards that bomb site, you got to wonder, would she have got it, got there in time and potentially got the kill? Yeah, you know, obviously the placement, you know... Razor, he was right there on that bomb, but I don't, you know, I would have pushed away a little bit more just to play it more, a bit more safer. Obviously, they still got the rounds, so that's all that matters in the end. Tying up with three rounds apiece here, round number seven. A quick, quick push towards B right now. In goes the smokes, he goes to the concussions. He concusses his own teammate, though. 
as Athena is inside of there with that Bulldog and the Bomb. Just chilling back now as his teammate Zerka got picked up. So, Razor now on our screens once again. Just watching, waiting for players to make a push towards him. Now, of course, we know where players are thanks to that mini-map in Oracle modes, but they do not. There goes some shots in the background there. Rob picks up one on Trummer. As you're going to see, Athena taking a Rob afterwards. There's a nice little two-piece for him there inside the map. And right now, Girl Germs and Quisky. Both still up. One player on him, Snake. Quisky sees him. Can't get the kill, though. Ooh. As Razor will retreat on out. Bomb will start going down. Oh, Girl Germs, you're right on top of it. As soon as the bomb goes down, does she poke it? Looks like she will. Doesn't find the players, though. Did actually get it. That was Quisky, though. Does get the kill just like that. All up to Razor. Girl Germs going straight for the defuse, but Quisky will be able to get the kill in the end there. That's going to be another round going to the team of Omari. Back and forth and back and forth between these two teams by her. Omari just sketching out a bit of a lead right now. And it's going to be interesting which way this goes down because Prime, normally they're a very strong team on their attacking sides. They mm. did lose it, so now they have to go clutch in the defensive side. They want to stay into this search and destroy, more importantly, in the 2K. It always was interesting because, you know, Amari had a two-round lead originally. They got a defense and they got an attacking round, and then Prime did bring it back to 2-2, two -two, and they've gone around for rounds since then. So, you know, you are right. They picked up now Amari picking up that defensive round. They might be able to get another attacking. Now, Nova's just staring at the ceiling here. It's a interesting play. It's a bold strategy. Con, let's see if it plays, it pays off for him. Just chilling back in their spawn, just waiting, watching, you know, just ending the game would seem as well. Not sure what's happening there. Maybe he was glitched or maybe something had happened. I did see a player join in. I don't know if they spawned, though. So maybe because Haunted Shadows in the game, they're ending it there at 4-3. Want to make sure we just keep that score in mind. Of course, it is Amari in the lead by one and coming into that one. So hopefully, you know, whoever that shadow player is, they weren't going to spawn in. Like we did see a couple of players already join and leave in the time of we've been doing this matchup. So yeah, straight away, person gets kicked and we should be okay to restart it at 4 3 the scoreline. But it was a bold, bold strategy there for Nova to stay in the spawn. I don't know if it would have paid off for him, though. He was a bit bold. I was just trying to think then, you know, what was going down because you know I was watching the defensive side and the I was switching between the two and it it was making me wonder what was going on but we will keep the scores so it is four to three in favor of Omari they only need the two hopefully they go on the correct side should I say so that we keep it somewhat correct but but I'm, I'm just trying to grasp what Prime can do because it seems like they've lost that little bit of edge which they had at the start of it. And I did see someone tweet out before that Prime, if they grinded out and they kept at it, they could definitely be a top eight team. Mm. I would have to agree with that statement. They are quite a strong team from what I tell. But it just seems as though they lose their composure midway into it, which is a bit, you know, it's, it's a little bit shaky and it would be good to see them hold the composure and manage to take out this defensive round, which they are on. So if you are on their side right now, by let's pretend, you know, we got Prime Acid over here. What do you do to try and, yeah, if I was on their side, it. it wouldn't be the fact that we're down in map count. We wouldn't be down in rounds in S&D. It would be one round away from winning the S&D, two owing Amari, and that'd be game set match Amari going home. Mm -hmm. Sadly, they don't have bioacid on their team. So, you know, what what I could do, though... This ain't World of War, mate. Yeah, well, still, it's a cod, cod is cod. But now, you know, honestly, Prime, they could just have to just keep doing what they were doing. They were going round for round. They brought it back from 2-0 down. So if they just keep doing what they're doing, but slow it down a little bit on their defensive, I think they're a defensive, they're just pushing out a bit too much, and that's where they're getting a bit caught off. If they just sit back, let Amari come to them, just defend the bomb side. That's what you're, that's what you're doing. You're defending A and B. You don't want to push out too aggressively on your defensive. You know, Save that for your attack, because their aggressiveness from their attacking rounds has paid off a lot of times for them, and that's how they're getting these rounds back. So if they just settle down a little bit on the defense, but keep with the aggressiveness on their attack, I see these guys bringing it back to you know maybe even going 6-5 and taking it out themselves in the S&P. Interesting words there, and we'll just flick on the Oracle mode. Who do you want to watch from Omari, though, to break it off? Yeah, uh, Quisky. We'll see what he's doing. All right, we'll see what Quisky is doing. Looks like he's pushed very aggressively. Oh, it does find the player there. Just was staring at them for a little there. Riser will be first blood to drop there. Numbers advantage for the team of Omari. Now they only need to hold on to it, and they'll be one round away from advancing further on to the 2k. Oh, Quisky does get dead. Red jumps around the corner, finds a kill too, and all up to Torma, but before I can call it, he drops at the hands of Rob Omari. One round away here, Bioacid, from taking this one out, as that's a, that's a great little kill cam by Rob there, walking away from the player. That's dirty. It's a press vector. It's, it's a little dirty, Rob. That's 
little But scumbag. that's what I was talking about, you know. Prime, they, they had the right start. They were being, you know, defensive instead of being so aggressive. Once that bomb went down, though, they just went head first into the bomb site. They didn't check the area that, where they were running into. They didn't check where area players usually set up on. They just kept running and running and running. And that's where three of them got dropped in a matter of seconds. So now is their, pretty much their last chance. The scoreline is 5-3 to three right now to Amari for those just joining us. We have to end it there a moment ago. So... Prime again, the aggressiveness from their attack. We've seen it time and time again. They get the bomb down. It's all about defending it afterwards, though. This is where they struggle a few times, and they've been caught off guard. As those oh, moments, there's one player gone good. down the middle. There's a nice little two-piece, though. Zerk and Phenom then have a nice oh. little two-piece with their own. Omari Rob now on a 1v3 after the one, the, or 1v2 after the 1v3 start over here on b -Side. Oh, He's going a very long way around it. Not too sure if this is going to work out well for him. Or it could be a big play, though. He's gone all the way for the spawn. Does have the scope out. Needs to pull off some magic with this run now. And there is a player directly to his right. Needs to check that corner. Only 15 seconds. The clock will be his enemy. Does find one. 12 seconds left. Oh, he pulls out the scope while going in. Oh. That was a very ambitious play by him. I don't think he expected Torma to be located inside the green area of the map. And... Didn't work out too well for them. Omari still one round away. Prime, they've got to get two without dropping a single round if they want to stay in this 2K series and more importantly, in the Surge and Destroy. Bio, switching sides once again. It's going to be interesting. Rob, three for one. He's definitely heated up a little at the end of this one. Did see him tweet before the fadeaway. It's a beautiful job by him. We do want to actually, we'll stick on board with him. He's got that vector with suppressor, as we said. A little scumbaggy. It seems to be working out quite well for him. Yeah, well, John Bullwish is like you said, stay off Rob. I just want to highlight Nova as well. Nova's on that right hand side of the map and their servers right now near the forklift. So he's watching their side of things for that push up and see if these guys are going to try and flank him. So it's a smart play here by the Amari team. You know, they're sitting three players up towards the B area. They're going to try and clear it out or get one or two at the time. And then we'll, we'll get that bomb down. Here you go. You're going to Rob in that. Oh, can't hit the first kill though. As it takes him out. Then a nice little push here for Quisky to try and pre fire that doorway. No one challenging it, son. That becomes a 3v3. One player back stairs though. And there it is there. Vino making a 2v2 after Girl Jones picked up Zerker in the background. So no run. Girl Jones now up against Trauma by himself. 1v1 oh. now. He could do this and he could keep Prime alive when he, he goes knows. up against Nova, who's just below him. Nova knows exactly where Trauma is, but Trauma doesn't know where Nova is. So this could be a big play. He's been very committed to this spot. I'm third pursing this right now, and I do see both of them moving. Here comes Nova, going to try and make a play. Coming up from behind, there's a player. He's going to get the kill, and that's going to be a victory for the team of Omari AU as they advance further on into the 2K series. 2-0 clean sweep, but a very close search and destroy in the end there, Bioacid. They did go up clutch when it was needed. Got to give a special mention to Quisky. Definitely the MVP for the search and destroy. Made some big plays. Uh, before we had to end the game beforehand and definitely in the second half. So Amari, they advance further on. Prime, they get knocked out straight off the bat. A little unfortunate for them. But we did say, you know, they're a team making some plays. You know, they're definitely getting better throughout the weeks. And, you know, this is definitely only going to be a learning experience for them. Oh, definitely. You know, obviously, there's nowhere to go but up for a lot of teams who are starting to make their, their way and their names known in the core duty scene for Australia and New Zealand. So, you know, hopefully that's CTA. That's what you want to do as a team anyway. You want to stick together and just try, you know, improve on the areas that you can improve on instead of just dropping players. You know, just improve on yourselves first. Get a team that's going to mesh well and work together and just go with that. And, of course, that will there be game done, set, and match. Amari will be up against Todor next in their matches. However, we'll be trying to find another match as well. You know, a few matches happening in regards to the bracket immunity taking on Trident 4D right now. You know, I'm pretty tipping immunity for that one. Probably going to be 2-1, uh, 2-0. Two, 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 oh. I'll have to see, wait and see the results. But we'll try and find a matchup. If your match is about to start, though, you think it's streamed, whether you want to try and get it streamed, Hit us up, tweet it at Mike's 94 at ACL Beware. We'll try and get in your matches. Otherwise, you can, you know, be sure to include the hashtag, hashtag ACL2K all day throughout the series and make sure you tweet the stream at mlg.tv slash ACL. When we come back, round number two matches in the ACL2K series brought to you, of course, by ACL and MLG.